Building Doctors, a participating contractor in the Energy Upgrade California program in Los Angeles County, brings you an educational video on insulating your walls with a drill and fill method using the dense pack technique. There are many types and techniques for installing insulation. In new construction, there's easy access to the wall cavity to install the insulation. Drill and fill is the best way of insulating an existing wall cavity, since removing the drywall or plaster is not a cost-effective option. We're using cellulose for our insulation. We found it the best product to work with because it's the most environmentally friendly as it's comprised of 85% recycled material. Cellulose is treated with ammonium sulfate and borate, which makes it mold, pest, and fire resistant. As you see in this video, the handful of cellulose does not burn and does not continue to burn when the flame is removed. Once the framing has been located, either from infrared imaging or stud and fire block probing, we start by drilling the holes to fill each wall bay. Since most framing is 16 inches on center, we drill one hole 16 inches apart for each bay, unless there's fire blocking. We've made a demonstration wall with plexiglass on one side, so you can see the insulation as it fills the cavity. We will show you three different ways of doing drill and fill with varying results. First is using a directional nozzle to loose fill the wall with insulation. The problem with this technique is that the insulation is loose filled and over time settles, leaving air gaps. It also does not guarantee you get the insulation around pipes, wires, outlets, or other obstructions. Another technique is to insert the hose in the wall to the bottom or top of the cavity and fill with insulation. This puts the insulation in places that the directional nozzle doesn't always reach, but it is still not dense packed. There will still be air movement in the wall cavity and settling of the insulation will occur over time. The last technique we're showing you is dense packing a wall cavity with insulation by inserting a hose to the bottom or top of the cavity. As the insulation fills that section, you need to pull the hose out slowly as the insulation dense packs. This removes the air pockets in the wall. Lastly, you knife the hose to the opposite side of the cavity you just filled to dense pack that section. The Building Performance Institute, BPI, recommends anywhere from three and a half to five pounds per cubic foot for the proper R value and air sealing qualities. Here we show the results of the three techniques. We removed one side of the wall and show the density of each cavity, and then we weighed the insulation from each cavity. The directional nozzle bay and the loose fill bay are soft to the touch, demonstrating how they will settle over time. The last is the dense packed section. It's easy to see how firm the insulation is in the cavity and how difficult it is to remove the dense packed section. BPI recommends three and a half to five pounds per cubic foot for the proper R value in the wall cavity and for air sealing qualities. Our results? Dense packing an existing wall is by far the best way to install wall insulation.